The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, that was the first year uh, of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. Uh, the which Jeremiah, the prophet, spoke unto all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, From the thirteenth year of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, even unto this day, that is, three and twentieth and twentieth year, the word of the Lord has come unto me, and I have spoken unto you, rising early and speaking, but you have not hearkened. And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, but you have not hearkened, nor uh, inclined your ear to hear. <coughs> they said, they said, turn ye again now, everyone from his evil way, and, uh, and from the evil of your doings, and dwell in the land that the Lord has given unto you, 
and to your and to your fathers forever and ever. Inaga was mutiini mungu na tawadumisha katika inchi aliyowa aliyowa. And go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not to anger with the works of your hands and I'll do you no hurt. I will, not, I will not hurt you. Yet ye have not hearkened unto me, said the Lord, that ye might pro provoke me to anger with the works of your hands to your own heart. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the Lord of hosts, because ye have not uh, heard my words, behold, I will send and take all the families of the north, said the Lord, and Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, my servant, that is uh, one that I will use to execute my, my judgment. And he will bring them against this land and against the inhabitants thereof and against all these nations round about. And he will utterly destroy them and make them an astonishment and an, and an hissing and perpetual desolations. Moreover, I will take from them the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, and the voice of the bride, the sound of, of the millstones, and the light of the candle. And this whole land shall be desolation shall be a desolation and an astonishment and these nations shall serve the king of babylon 70 years 70 years alafu nitasoma daniel daniel 9 daniel chapter 9 In the first year of Darius, the son of Ashurath, of the seed of the Medes, which was made king of the realm of the Chaldeans, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he should, that he should accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplication with, with the fastings and sackcloth and ashes. Now, That is, uh, uh, we call it consulting, consulting consulting the Lord about tomorrow. to tomorrow. Nani kumuliza mungu juu ya reni ya kesho. Juu ya kesho. Now, nataka kusema hivi ya kwamba nyakati times na matukio yote ya yako katika mpango wa Mungu that is times and events all of them see revolve around God's plan dote nyakati na matukio see yeye kama ni hivyo basi yeye ndiye anayefaa kuulizwa 
juu ya kesho ndiye tunayepaswa kuuliza juu ya yale yanayoendelea wakati gani huu so hakuna kitu kinachoendelea nje ya yale aliyopanga yeye mwenyewe si nitawapa tu mifano michache mifano michache hakuna kitu ambacho kinajiendesha there is nothing that is running itself kila kitu kinaenda kama vile Mungu alifanya nini alipanga hata wewe kuketi kwako pale na kile ulicho saa what you are this minute where you are sitting si si uko vile Mungu alivyokupangia na kuna uamuzi wako ulionao katika maisha yako you have no control over for your life you don't have si hauna kwa hivyo Mungu ndiye tunayepaswa kuuliza mambo yote tunapaswa kumuliza Mungu si yeye ndiye aliye na mambo yote yeye ndiye aliye na kesho si yeye ndiye aliyekuwa na jana na hata wakati uliopo yeye ndiye aliye na wakati huu si na wakati huu ukiangalia maandiko hayo English or English who is the interpreter hmm? who is the interpreter tafsiri eh wewe ndio utakuwa ukitafsiri wewe ndio bibi interpret so you better start this so you properly you be the interpreter see see ndio akikuyu anasema buzi you know you know buzi 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 the small kids are left at home sio watoto wa buzi wanawacha nyumbani si sasa wakati buzi wanatoka malishoni jioni every the mother cries to to its own eh eh it cries to its own si so and because she is crying for <laughs> you have to give us that that so a solution i don't know again So he is a Swahili Swahili speaker. Yeah. 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 Let's hear him today. See, we speak very we speak simple Swahili brother with that so. Niwe mnachapa kule na wananchi kule town. So what I was saying is that uh, We take the example of the scripture here. Tunachukua mfano wa maandiko hapa. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 25. We have read with you the history of Jeremiah. historia ya Jeremiah. We have read read the second chronicles 36. Tumesoma 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 mambo ya nyakati mlango wa pili a 36 about Jeremiah's time. Kuhusu wakati wa Jeremiah when he lived wakati alipo the, the spiritual condition in Israel uh, ah hali kiroho ya Israeli katika katika Israeli yeah the spiritual condition ah uh, hali ya kiroho now his prophecies ah uh, unabii wake other prophets that were before him ah uh, manabii wengine waliokuwa kabla yake and the, the warning they gave Israel uh, maonyo na maonyo walio waliowapa waliowapa walio Israeli si finally Um, the bible uh, says um, nasema, Israel didn't heed uh, Israel hawakusikia and uh, finally the bible says uh, God was fed up ana mwishowe maandiko inasema Mungu alichoka see and there was no remedy says the bible na hakukua na na ukawa hakuna kawa kuwa na kuponya maandiko inasema yeah nothing else God could do nothing else Mungu angefanya chochote kingine Let me tell you. If you take that statement, that God had nothing else to do for them. Kwamba Mungu hakuwa na kingine chochote cha kuwafanyia. See, it, you know here in Jeremiah it says, Unaona hapa katika Jeremiah inasema, Is there obey my word? Isaidio atiri neno langu. So that you may continue to live in this land which I have given you. Ili mzidi kuishi katika nchi iliyowapa. See, yes obey and you will continue living. Na mtii na muendelee kuishi. And he didn't send one person to tell them that. Na hakumtuma mtu mmoja awambie hivyo. He sent many. Aliwatuma wengi. But they would not hear. Lakini wangesikia. And God had no uh, had no 
He had no other choice na Mungu hakuwa na jambo lingine but to pluck them out of the land bali kuwatoa katika nchi hiyo and he did na alifanya hivyo now during that time aya wakati huo there were other prophets kulikuwa na manabii wengine who came up trying to console the sinners walipokuja waliokuja wa, wakijaribu wa kuwa bebeleza kwa bebeleza wenye dhambi prophets i peace uh, wakitoa unabii wa uongo and if you have time kama na wakati you can read Jeremiah 28 unaweza soma Jeremiah mlango 28 a man that lived at that time mtu aliyeishi wakati huo God Hananiah aliyeitwa Anania he was a first a first prophet alikuwa na bii wa uongo he was a male priest alikuwa mtu wa kufurahisha watu and like we have many Hananias in the message kama today kama tulivyo Anania wengi katika ujumbe huu leo don't we have it kwa nao leo not of you don't have to cry and cry when you believe the word you have the holy ghost ukiwa na neno una roho ukiamini neno una that is your hanana hiyo ni hanania wako you see he doesn't want you to go through agony and cry to god and plead hataki upitie kilio kingi kutukumulia mungu akujaza roho takatifu yako na kumsihi And you know that's what the Bible says. Unajua hivyo ndivyo maandiko yanavyosema. That's how people have received the Holy Ghost. Hivyo ndivyo watu wamepokea Roho Mtakatifu. Clear? Yeah. See? People have received the Holy Ghost. Watu wana need to toil for it. Ya, ndugu Branham alipitia njia hiyo kuipata. Right? Yeah. In Luke chapter 11, ah Luka mlango wa 11. Jesus said it is knocking. It is pleading. And he said, How much will the heavenly Father give the Holy Ghost to them that ask him? Not to those who believe the word, but those who ask. After belief, after hearing the word, you know there is a Holy Ghost that is to be given. And I pass up the Then the next thing is that you ask. Is that clear? We have a lot of Hananias today. There is no difference between the preachers we have in the message today and a Presbyterian bishop. Hakuna tofauti ya uh, There is no difference at all. Hakuna tofauti. Na wahubiri wa ujumbe tulionao na na bishop wa nini? Wa, wa PCA. There is no difference at all. Hakuna tofauti hata kidogo. That one teaches people not to touch God. Huyo anamfundisha mtu asimguze. Anawafundisha watu asimguze? Mungu. This one teaches you not to have a supernatural experience with God. Huyo anakufundisha usikuwe na tukio la kiungu na Mungu. Same thing. Kitu kile kile. And you know what? Eh? You yu. have to know God. Lazima umjue Mungu. We talk about him. Tunanena kuhusu juu yake. See? You don't we don't live by hearing about him. Hatu, hatuishi kwa kumsikia kuhusu juu yake. Hatuishi kwa kusikia kuhusu mu. Mungu. We live by meeting him. Tuna tunaishi kwa kutana na yeye. See? Like the pro, like, like the message. Kama ujumbe. See? Aba hat nimesikia but now sasa naona but now i see sasa naona see now so kwa hivyo Jeremiah said Jeremiah alisema you will go through 70 years of captivity mtapitia miaka 70 ya utumwa see of captivity ya utumwa see au au ya utumwa something like that You be taken out of this land. Ndatolewa nchi hii kutoka This land shall lay desolate. Nchi hii itabaki ukiwa. 70 years. Miaka miaka 70. Ananiah said. Ananiah akasema. Ah, just two years. God loves you. Ah, miaka miwili tu Mungu anawapenda. You will be back. Yes, you will go right. Ah, ndio mtu. Ndio mtatekwa nyara. But you will be back here within two years. Lakini mtarudi hapa baada ya miaka miwili. Baada ya miaka miwili. See? Now Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. They were taken captive. Walichukua kutu walikuwa. They were taken to Babylon. Wakapelekwa Babylon. They were there. Walikuwa humo. 10 years. Miaka 10. 60 years. Miaka 60. 70 years. Miaka 70. And on the 70th year. Na mwaka wa 70. Is what what when this Daniel. Ndio ndio wakati ndio huyu Daniel was among those that were taken to Babylon. Aliyekuwa mmoja wa wale waliopelekwa Babylon. Babylon. See? Ah uh, When he was praying, alipokuwa akiomba and reading, na akisoma, 
Now look here. One thing that Jeremiah did, uh, now Daniel did, is that when they were taken, you see, he believed God's prophets. Mana. And he took seriously the message of Jeremiah and his prophecies. And in exile, as he was praying and reading the message, he came across a place where it is said that they were supposed to be in exile for 70 years. Then he counted the time they have been there. And he saw that was the time they were supposed to. Uh, to depart from Babylon. He consulted God. Alimuliza Mungu. Because God has the times. Mungu dia aliena. He has the times. Mungu dia aliena nyakati. And he also controls events. Anayetawala matukio. See? And he prayed. He knew this was the time. That's exactly. And let me tell you. And let me tell you. We should. God is the right one to consult. If we want to know, if we want to know where we are headed from here. Today. Today. We have to consult him. And his, and his, 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 his prophecy, his word is always to the top. Now, yeah. See, we consult him. See, even in your own life, he has your life. Did you know God has the pattern of your life from the beginning to the end? Mungu ana ana mpango ana maisha yako kutoka mwanzo hadi Yes. See? You have no control over yourself. Na See? He has. Yeah, anapoongoza. That's the Bible. This is he has made us some of us vessels as unto honor. Uh, we, 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 others vessels unto dishonor. To be destroyed. Everybody. Every driver, every word, every minister, every president, every king. Huh? Amen. And it is now look. If he has your future, come If he has your life, your partner of life, come on, Come on, You can kneel down and ask God. Like it says, one person here in the Bible said, He said, Lord, show me my end. Right? Amen. Show me my end. See, he has our pattern of life. See, every one of us. Now, let's take somebody like Moses. Moses, when he was born, God has had the pattern of his life in his, in his hands. See? And God, God would have showed him about everything. In Genesis, in Genesis 15, remember God told Abraham, your children shall be sojourners in a land that is not theirs. And what will happen to his, to his, to his seed? You know, God was talking about their future. See, Abraham didn't have children yet. 
But God told him about his children and their future. Now, he had a man called Moses also in that plan. And you know the whole story. Now, now, see, to this minute, had it a kikahi, had it a he. Everything about Israel, whatever has happened to them, what is going to happen to them, where they are today, is all in God, they are in God's pattern. God could have told them where they would be in 1948. He said they would be gathered back to their land. And they did. And they were. Uh -huh. See, he said they would be scattered all over the world. <coughs> and they were. They were scattered because, because God said they would be scattered. They, could not, they may not have understood what was happening to them. When they were but if, they, if you consulted God, he would have told you these people are exactly where I said they would be. They are in every nation. Because I said in every nation. They are being persecuted. Because I said they will be persecuted. See, but they will be I will take them back to their land. And in 1948, when they went back there, they went back there because according to God's pattern of their life, they were, they were to be regarded in their land. We can consult God. Amen. Does he hope tomorrow? Mungu ana kesho mikononi mwake? Yes. Yes. He knows what's going to happen to this nation tomorrow. Anajua kile kitafanyika katika kile kitafanyika. Kile kitafanyika na taifa hili kesho. He knows. Anajua. Listen brethren. He knows where we shall be tomorrow. Anajua tutakapokuwa kesho. And we can consult them. Consult him. Naweza kumuuliza? See? We shall be where he has planned we shall be. Everything about us tomorrow shall be exactly as per what he planned. And it will not be different. You can change it. No event in the world can come and change that which God has planned about us tomorrow. Amen. And remember I said this. Times. And events. Times and events. In the history of, of man. Has all been in God's hands. Rather, imekua yote katika mpago wa mungu. Now you can't change it. See? That's why Daniel, Daniel hmm, consulted God. He saw what God said about that time. Written that which had been spoken by Jeremiah was recorded, and he saw what was recorded, and he was sure that what is recorded here 70 years, we are in the 70th year, Sabini, and this is the time. See, he is the best. God is the best to consult. Amen. Awesome. Because why? I don't have your life in my hands. But yes. He knew what would be. 
If you are a critic, kama haya ni mwenye kutoa dihaka, dihaka, you are what you are supposed to be. Uko kile unachokosa kuwa. If you are one that has no interest in God. Kama wewe ni mmoja ambaye hana haja na nini? Na Mungu, you just want to be religious. Unatosheka kuwa wa dini? Wa dini. Wa dini. You are exactly what the part, you are the part of your life is. Kwa vile ambavyo Mungu amepanga wa maisha yako, Mungu alipanga wewe. See? You can help yourself. Wewe kujisaidia. See? You can help yourself. Wewe kujisaidia. See? If you are predestined and I will speak about this one of these days to you. If you are predestined to be a child of God. The deep will call unto the deep. Kilindi kitaita kilindi. You feel not rest. Utasikia utatosheka utapumzika. And God makes you part of himself. Hadi Mungu akufanye sehemu yake mwenyewe. Hadi Mungu akufanye sehemu yake mwenyewe by giving you a part of himself. Ni sehemu yake mwenyewe. And that will not be that will not be you driving yourself into that si utajiongoza si 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 no it's something in you si yako, that you feel not contented that you need to be something more than what you are Apo, unaposo, kwa, zaidi ya ulicho, ulicho, zaidi. not a human being si manadamu, but a god that man mungu see mm. that's exactly see Oh is the best consort. Kuulizwa. Concerning Paul. Paulo, he said God, he says God. Anasema Mungu. Chose him. Alimchagua. When he was in, in his mother's womb. Alikuwa kwenye tumbo na mama yake. And of course and even beyond. Hata na hata be. Be. Na hata be. See? Now, his pattern His life was in God's hands. Ah, maisha yake ilikuwa katika mkono wa Mungu. Mm. Now when he fell that time under the power of God. Aliposikia wakati huo. Alipoanguka siku ile oh. chini ya uweza uweza wa nini? Wa Mungu. See? And God spoke to him. Na Mungu akamnenea. He said he asked God. Alimuuliza Mungu. What would thou have me to do? Unataka nifanye je nifanye nini? Unataka nifanye nini? What will thou have me to do? Unataka nifanye nini? Unge. Ungetaka nifanye nini? Hmm. Now, sasa listen and listen. Sikiza na usikize. See? You should go to the city. Aliambiwa enda katika mji. Enda mjini. Enda mjini. And shall be told thee what thou shalt do. Na utaambiwa what thou must do. Utaambiwa kile unachopaswa kufanya. Kikupasacho. Kikupasavyo. Kiku, kiku, Fine. Fine. See what you must do. Kia kupasacho kufanya. Pasavyo kufanya. It's a must. Ni lazima. <coughs> mm. God had held his future. Mungu alishikilia alishika mpango. Mpango wa Paulo ulikuwa mikononi? Mungu. God the false life was in God's hands. Maisha ya Mungu ilikuwa katika mkono. Maisha ya Paulo ilikuwa katika mkono wa Mungu. That's exactly. Yeah. See? Mm. Now. Sasa. Oh, 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 uh, what God oh, what God does? Kila Mungu anachofanya is to hide. Listen, ni kuficha. Is, is to hide his plan. Ni kuficha mpango wake. That's what he does. But Kini, he has it. Lakini yako nao. And if God wanted to give you his plan, he can give you. Na kama Mungu alitaka kupea mpango wake, angekupa. See? To God, kwa Mungu, you don't live day by day. Hawishi siku kwa siku. Siku baada ya siku. He doesn't pattern your life in the morning when you wake up. Hapangi mpango wako asubuhi na kuamka. It's in God's plan. Ndio katika mpango wa Mungu. If you look at the scriptures, kiangalia maandiko, I've told you many times. Nakwambia mara nyingi, Paul was in the Old Testament. Paul alikuwa katika agano la kale. Eh? Yes. 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 See? Because God had planned to have told disciples. Wanafunzi One of them was supposed to betray the uh, Christ. Na moja alipaswa kumsaliti Kristo. 
and his ministry was, was going to be taken over by another person. That other person was planned before. The betrayer Musariti, Judas, Iscariot, Judas Iscariot was also planned before. Who was this person in the Old Testament? Ni mtu gani huyu katika kano la kale God said about Mungu alisema kumhusu that uh, kwamba see my, one of my friends has betrayed me moja wa marafiki zangu amenisariti who was that back in the testament huko katika kano la kale see to the sister you to the sister see and when the time came for it wakati ulipofika wa tendo hicho see at supper wakati wa chakula cha jioni Jesus stood Judas. Yes, so come here Judas. What thou doest? Kile kacho paswa. Kile unacho paswa kufanya. Do it quickly. Kifanye haraka. Quickly because there is no other time. Haraka kwa kuwa hakuna wakati mwingine. Because Christ cannot go further than here. Ama haraka kwa sababu Kristo hawezi enda zaidi ya hapo. Ali ya he had say mapema hapo awali alikuwa amesema Kristo alikuwa amepea Mesema ali ya he said hapo awali alikuwa amesema he said alikuwa amesema the work that thou givest me I have finished. Kazi yo nipa ni meimaliza. So he tells Judas, what thou doest, do it quickly. Kilo na chaposo kufanya, kifanya haraka. See? Amen. And he said many things. Na lisa wa mbo mengi. He told his disciples, Ayambi wa nafuzi wake, We go to Jerusalem, Na enda Jerusalemu, And the son of man shall be betrayed. Na mwana wa adamu atasaritiwa. See? And shall be, See? handed over to the gentiles na atapeanwa kwa uh, mataifa mataifa see and they shall crucify him atamsurubisha but on the third day siku ya tatu he shall rise again atafuka ata tena see his pattern was planned mpango mpango wake huo umepangwa did you know if god wanted he can tell us he can show us the whole program of tomorrow from morning to evening unajua Mungu angetaka angetuonyesha mpango wote wa kesho kutoka asubuhi mpaka jioni why kwa nini moro is in god's hand kesho ndio katika mkono wa Mungu amen to the world ulimwengu it shall be news itakuwa ni habari habari mpya see that again kwa ulimwengu itakuwa ni habari mpya to God kwa Mungu it shall be old news itakuwa habari ya kale because he planned it kwa sababu alipanga kimbere see those who died in solai wale waliokufa solai he planned alipanga hiyo he planted that muindi there aliweka hiyo muindi hapo to put up those things kuweka vitu hivyo to destroy those souls kuangamiza nafsi hizo he said god did it yeah Mungu alifanya ndio ni yeye that's right see Not the devil. See Bilisi. God. Mungu mwenyewe. See. The devil is an agent. Eh Bilisi tu ni chombo. Let me explain that. The devil is an agent. Bilisi ni chombo. But he's an agent of God. Lakini chombo cha Mungu. See, you see brother Mungu what do you mean? Kwa sababu brother Mungu anamaanisha nini? We are ready here. Nasoma hapa. Because Nebukadnezar my servant. Anaita Nebukadnezar mtumishi wangu. My my servant to do what? To execute judgment against his own children. Kutoa kwa bibu watoto wake bwe mwenyewe. This is my servant. That's why the prophet says. Maana Nabii anasema God uses evil to punish evil. Mungu hutumia uovu kwa kwa bibu uovu. He uses an evil person Nebuchadnezzar amtumia mtu muovu Nebuchadnezzar to punish the evil deeds of Israel. Kwa dhibu mabaya maovu ya Israeli. That's exactly. See. So he does all those things. Anafanya hayo yote. He has the future. Ana ana maisha ya baadaye in his hands. He can, so you can consult him. Kwa hivyo unaweza kumuuliza. He can tell you if he wants. Anaweza kuambia akitaka. He can hide from you if he wants. But he has tomorrow in his hands. Now look. look here. If we have the revelation of that. Kama tunaufunua wa hiyo. Then ought we not then completely surrender our lives to him? 
kujitoa kabisa maisha yetu kwake so, so that he takes care takes care of us about tomorrow ila shughuliki maisha yetu ya kesho because we could be planning this kwa sababu tunakuwa tukipanga hili but God's plan is different lakini mpango wa Mungu ni tofauti and God na Mungu like I am planning I am planning to build a house. Napanga kupanga kujenga nyumba. I'm planning to do this and that. Napanga kufanya hili na lile. But the Lord, lakini Bwana, thy will be done. Amen. See? Amen. See? Because what you are planning, kwa doesn't have to be. Si lazima ikiwepo. It is what he planned about you that will be. Ni kile alichopanga kukuhusu ndicho kitakachofanyika. See, so we can consult him as Daniel consulted him. Kama Daniel alipomuuliza, he consulted the message. Aliuliza ujumbe. He consulted the message book. Aliuliza vitabu vya ujumbe. He went by what the message said. Aliona na kile ujumbe He believed in what God talked about that time. Aliamini juu ya yale ambao Mungu alinena kuhusu wakati gani? Huo. Amen. That's what he, and he knew even tomorrow. Kesho, it shall happen exactly what hivyo, God has planned. Kile Mungu amepanga. So is it in your life? Hivyo ndivyo ilivyo leo katika maisha yako. Katika maisha yako iko namna? Hivyo. Namna hiyo. You have no control over your life. Hauna uwezo juu ya maisha yako. You don't have. Hauna. So when you are planning things, so unapopanga mambo, he said, anasema, you say, unasema, you say, unasema, see. Si, see. Si, if it be thy will kama ni mapenzi yako amen isa kwa if it be thy will kama ni mapenzi yako oh that is exactly that is exactly see that's exactly amen see now he's the best one to consult yeye ndiye anefaa na bora zaidi kuulizwa boss life was in god's hands maisha ya paulo ilikuwa katika mpango wa mungu mkono wa mungu He was in the scriptures. Alikuwa katika maandiko. Your testament. Agano la kale. His name might not have been recorded in the old scriptures. Ah, jina lake. Jina lako, jina lake wenda likawa au inaweza kuwa halikuandikwa katika maandi. Maandiko. Maandiko, but his ministry was there. Lakini huduma yake ilikuwa ilikuweko. His ministry was there. Huduma yake ilikuweko. And God na Mungu who gave the rest of the apostles their ministries aliyawapa wale wa mitume wengine huduma zao he said the ministry of Judas alisema huduma ya Judas another one will take mwingine atachukua and who was there to fill that gap na yeye alikuwa anaenda kujaza pengo hilo God filled it himself Mungu alijaza mwenyewe Paul did no Paul hakujua but his future was in God's hands lakini maisha yake ya baadaye ilikuwa katika mkono wa Mungu Who that believe that Paul was going to be a minister nani angeamini Paul angekuwa mhuduma It's not what you, you thought about it si kile ulichofikiria kumhusu it's what the part of his life in God's hands was ni kile mpango wa Mungu katika kuhusu maisha yake ilikuweko It was it was it was planned ilikuwa imepangwa the future maisha baadaye he could he could have told he could have told moses about his future anamwambia musa kuhusu maisha yake anamwambia if he wanted kama alitaka but he hid it from moses lakini alifeature kwa kwa musa listen skiza he can tell us anatuambia he could have told us about his plan concerning us angetuambia kuhusu mpango wake kutuhusu but he hid it from us lakini alifeature kutoka kwetu And every time na kila wakati and every day na kila siku our lives pattern unfolds ah maisha yetu tunajikuta katika maisha yetu tunaingia katika jambo then another one tena lingine sometimes we cry wakati mwingine tunalia other times we laugh wakati mwingine tunacheka is that right amen but all that you have gone through lakini yote umepitia yote ambao umepitia all that you are going to go through yote ambayo utakayofikia us in goes part no like nothing can happen to me nothing will happen to me but that which god planned See? that is exactly See? oh we can consult you oh tunaweza kumuuliza daniel consulted God about his people. Danieli alimuuliza Mungu kuhusu watu wake. Yeah, if you read the father here in Daniel it says 
when you were seeking God. Now, part of that which he was seeking God about, moja ya bile bitu ababi alikuwa kitafuta mungu kwa ajili yake, he was seeking God about his people. Alikuwa kimuliza mungu kuhusu watu wake. Concerning who? Israel. Kuhusu Israel. See, Israel. He knew their life or their lives were in God's hands. Alijua maisha hawa yuwa katika mkono wa mungu. Now, I was talking about Judas Iscariot. Kwa nena kuhusu Judas Iscariot. Now, Jesus, in John 17, he said, All that you have given me, and I like that, All that you have given, Now, according to God's plan, There is, Now, according to God's plan, He was going to have a future home na makao ya badai for his children. And in that kingdom, it would have a headquarters. That is, it was going to have a city. And in the city, There was going to be God kulikuwa kuwe na Mungu and his bride. And the city was going to have 12 foundations and 12 gates. And the 12 foundations would have 12 names. The 12 gates would have 12 names. Ikekuwa na maji itakuwa iwe na majina 12 na wawili. And he planned it. Na alipanga hiyo. Before. <laughs> so, that, if that was God's plan. Kama hiyo ndio kama ndio ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu. Who was going to choose? Nani alikuwa? The two patriots. Ni nani alikuwa achague wale wazee 12 na wawili. Man or God? Mungu ama mm-hmm. mtu? Who was to choose the two apostles? Nani alikuwa achague wale mitume 12 na wawili? God. Mungu. So who chose the twelve? <laughs> so who gave Christ the twelve? God. Mm. That's why he said all you have given. Amen. Peter wanted to Peter wanted to, to he wanted to be a fisherman till his old age. Peter alitaka kuwa mvuvi hadi hadi uze hadi uze what? Until you could no longer do, do, do the job. Hadi 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 angeweza kufanya kazi hiyo. See. But God came. Lakini Mungu akaja. God him from there. Mungu mtoka kutoka hapo. He went called John. Akaenda akamuita Yohana. He called Matthew. Akamuita Mathayo. He called the other person. Akaita mtume mwingine. He called uh, Luke. Akamuita Luka. Was a physician. Alikuwa daktari. See. He called them. <coughs> <laughs> they, they didn't know there was going to be any other business <laughs> apart from what they were doing. Hawakujua wana kazi nyingine isipokuwa ile walikuwa wakifanya. But God had a plan. Lakini Mungu alikuwa na mpango. He had a city. Alikuwa na mji. Their names were going to be there. Majina yao yalikuwa yakuwe humo. See? And he called them. Na akawaita. He gave Jacob 12 sons. Alimpa Yakobo wana 12. Rada, he gave Jacob 13 sons. Alimpa Yakobo wana 13. And that team he was going to play about with the number. Alikuwa anacheza na hiyo namba. And you finally he ends up with the 12. Hadi mwisho amaliza na 12. I'll try to tell you that story. Ndio mimi kuambia hadithi hiyo. Is that clear? Amen. Now, sasa it's in God's plan. Ndio katika mpango wa Mungu. And he can consult God. Tunaweza kumuuliza Mungu. And I'm trying to tell you this this evening. Listen to me. Sikiza kwa makini. Now want you to take me very seriously. Nataka unichukue bila mchezo. You are not going to change tomorrow about yourself. Haubadilishi. Hautabadilisha kesho kuhusu wewe mwenyewe. It's tomorrow is in God's plan. Kesho iko katika mkono wa Mungu. Your life tomorrow is in God's hand. Maisha yako kesho iko katika mkono wa Mungu. And the best thing for us to do 
is to really ask the Lord to have mercy on us. So that that tomorrow, because it will be exactly, is, I'm not going to plug into tomorrow by, by luck. The way the people go to that uh, idea of Nimrod's religion. See? When they buy a newspaper, they rush where they are hot. Yeah. The stars. Yeah. See. 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 Not your stars. Consult God. Ah, yeah. See? Amen. It's going to be exactly. Yeah. Exactly as was planned. Yeah. Amen. 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 See. Jesus said, yes, what he said, All that you have given me, what you I have lost the land. Save the son of perdition. No. That is the scripture might be for me. Ili mandiko ya timie. It was going to be. We are not part of the world. We are in the world. But we are not part of the world. Oh, our government has great plans. Oh, the The American government has great plans. Every government has great plans. That is okay. Sawa. That's okay. Sawa. I know we are building a wonderful railway from Mombasa to, to Kampala or to Kigali or wherever. That is great. See? But that is not 100% guarantee. To us, we need to see what God's plan is. He may come before. He may come before. See? Amen. So, what is our absolute? See? See? Not one, what man has planned. We want to ask the Lord, Lord, that is wonderful. Oh, we, 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 we wait to see it. But it will depend on your plan. Ah. We may not reach there. We may reach, we may not reach. And what to override the whole thing? Si mama juu ya kila kitu kigine, kila mpango mwigine, it's God's plan. It is going to override everything else. Si. Lord, this is great plan. But God, fix us in your plan. Sisi tuweka katika katika mpango wa. Amen. That is what will prevail. See? We are reading a scripture here sometime. Matthew 26, verse 24. I want to read. Matthew 26, verse 24. Matthew 26, verse 24. Which says, The Son of Man goeth as it's written of him. But to woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. The Son of Man goes. Going as, as is written of him. Amen and amen. See, about Christ. See, everything happened as was supposed to happen. See, we can consult God. Concerning Christ, we can consult God. And if God wants us to know, He can show us. Listen to this. Cleopas, when they were 
confounded about what had happened walipofichwa kilichi walipokuwa wakitatanika juu ya yale ambayo walikuwa wamefanyika and jesus appeared na yesu akatokea listen skiza see he showed them aionyesha that all that happened to him ya kwamba yote iliyomfanyikia yeye yeye yote iliyoteleka kwa kwake he showed them the pattern was in existence mpango ulikuweko mpango uli ulikuweko he told them about suffering akwambia kuhusu kuteseka the way he suffered jesus alipoteseka he showed them the scripture aonyesha maandiko about his death kuhusu kifo chake he showed them the scripture aonyesha maandiko about his resurrection kuhusu kufuka kwake he showed them the scripture aonyesha maandiko So the pattern was there. Kwa hivyo mpango wa in this world to live your own pattern. Uko katika mpango huu kuishi vile ulivyopangiwa. I am saying you have no control of your own life. Nasema hauna uwezo juu ya maisha yako. You don't. Hauna. You know many times we try to be able like we are kicking around and you are kicking around and I'm I'm not I hear people say I'm not going to go that church again. Watu wasema tena tena. Tena. You are as ignorant as a worm. Umefichwa kama kama mdudu. Wewe ni kama mdudu. That's right. Wewe ni kama mdudu. You even did you know you don't even know what you are talking about? Unajua hata hujui unachonena kuhusu. You don't know. Hata hujui. You are so ignorant and I'm saying you are so ignorant. Umefichwa sana. You are not different from a fly. Wewe si tofauti na inzi. Because see I'm not going to that church. Yeye kanisa hilo. To start with the what is a church to you? Hata unjui kanisa ni. Kitu cha kwanza kanisa ni nini kwako? The church kanisa is the mystic body of Jesus Christ. Ni mwili wa asili wa Yesu Kristo. And that church na kanisa hilo and Christ na Kristo are, are one material. Ni material moja. The church is Christ. Kanisa ni Kristo. The church is the Holy Spirit. Kanisa ni Roho Mtakatifu. Christ is the Holy Spirit. Kristo ni Roho Mtakatifu. The church is God. Kanisa ni Mungu. Christ is God. Mungu Kristo ni Mungu. The bride group is God. Bwana harusi ni Mungu. The bride is God. Bibi harusi ni Mungu. Is that clear? Yeah. Amen. So, Amen. what is this thing that you told me, brother Moga, or not go there again? Sorry, ni waniambia ndugu. Hii kanisa unaniambia sitaenda hilo kanisa tena. Why do? Can you explain to me? Unaweza nieleza? In other words, you are, you are saying, I am not going to be that Holy Spirit. Sita sita fanyike hiyo Roho Mtakatifu. Because the church is part of God here. Kwa sababu kanisa ni sehemu ya Mungu mwenyewe. And how do you go into that church? Do you going into the church and scaring your body to to somewhere? Wako haya kuja katika kanisa. Wao wewe kuingia kwenda katika kanisa fulani kubeba miguu yako, ni miguu yako ikubebe mwili. We are going to church. We don't go to church by walking. Hatuingii kwa kanisa kwa kutembea. Amen. We don't walk into the church. Hatutembei kwa kanisa. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? Nabatizwa into that church. Kwa mwili mmoja au kanisa moja. You are landed into that church by God himself. By making you part of himself. Kwa Kristo kukufanya yeye mwenyewe. By giving you himself. I don't know what other church you said you are not going. Ilo kanisa ulisema huendi sijui. And I don't know how you you and and I don't know how you you would go. Nasijui utaendaje kwa kanisa hilo au ungeendaje? See, that's why I said you are as ignorant as a fly. Your statements are foolish. Matamshi yako ni ya ujinga. See? You are thinking is ignorance. Hayafikiria kwako ni kwa kutojua tu. You are blind. You are blinded to the things of God. Umefichwa mambo ya Mungu. Umepofishwa mambo ya nani? Mambo ya Mungu. You don't know what you are talking about. Hujitu hayana kuhusu nini? You can go to church. Uweze ila kanisa. Uweze kwenda kanisa. Uweze kwenda kanisa. And you have no choice. Na una una Kuna chaguo. Kuna chaguo. The members ah uh, uh, washirika wa predestined to be members. Walikusudiwa kuwa washirika. And where were the members of that church? Na washirika hao walikuwa wako, walikuwa wapi? Hao washirika wa kanisa, hao members, where were they? Walikuwa wapi? Listen, where were they? Walikuwa wapi? 
You said they were waiting to be born. Walikuwa wanakoja kuzaliwa. By who? Na nani? They were in God. Walikuwa ndani ya Mungu. They are part of God. Sehemu ya Mungu. The church is part of God. Kanisa ni sehemu la Mungu. So which church are you saying you are not going? Kwa hiyo ni kanisa gani unasema utaenda? Preachers, wahubiri. He preachers have done people a lot of disservice. Ah, wahubiri wamekosea. Wahubiri wamekosea watu sana. See? Their thinking is rotten. Ah, ukifikira zao. Ukifikira zao zimeoza. Zimeoza. They are blinded. Wamefichwa, wamefushwa. The things of God are hidden from them. Mambo ya Mungu. Mambo ya Mungu yamefichwa. Wow. See? You see? Now, somebody, 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 somebody went for help. From some of these preachers. See? And he was asked. See? Said if you, when they, they learn for he comes from Nakuru. Yes. Wakajua ya natoka wapi? Nakuru. Nakuru. So the next question was So sorry, ringi ni likuwa. Where do you go? Unenda kwa unenda kani sawa ti. Do you go to Mauras? Unenda kwa Maura. He said no. I go to Mogos. Unenda kwa Mogos. Then we have no business with you. Basi atuna kazi na. Blind. Ignorant. Kutoa mtu asiyejua. No. Where does Mogos come? Mogos ni ringi ya wapi? Where? In the things of God and in the plan of God, where does Jerome come? Jerome is a kujia wapi. See, see. He he come and stay with Jogona. We are going to go to Jogona. We stay with the brother Maina. So what have you accomplished? We 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 pata. We timiza ni timiza ni ni. Move from brother Maina, you go to brother Jogona. Move from brother Maina, you go to brother Jogona. What have you accomplished? What have you achieved? Which is better place? Listen. Skiza. We are called to be in Christ. Who are Dani? And to be in Christ. And Christ in you. You and Christ become one. What he is you? What he is, is he God? You are in God. Is he holy? You are holy. Is he a spirit? You are a spirit. You and him are the same what? That's what we are talking about here. And that has nothing to do with a human being. And that plan concerning you, what you are supposed to be, is in God, was in God, before the world was created, the plan of God concerning you was in God. Amen. So we can consult him. Like somebody said in the Bible, as I say, Kama vile, ani mjasema mchu mingina, nisema katika Biblia, kisema, Lord, show me my hand. Nyonyeshe mwisho wangu. See? That is exactly. Consult God. Mwuriza mungu. The problem, the problem with us is that when we lack revelation of these things, to not cause of no mabo higher, then we start thinking like men. We start thinking like human beings. We start looking at things the human way. We start reasoning the human way. Instead of, instead of, instead of being aware. Badala ya kujua that there is a hidden hand somewhere controlling everything what you are supposed to be what we are and what we shall be tomorrow consulting God now look here if if we are aware of this if we if we have got the revelation of these things hmm we can consult God about this world. This world. And when we consult Him, Amen. when we consult God about this earth, this, this planet earth, 
hii dunia hii dunia yenyewe vile ilivyo when we consult tumuuliza okay yeah how do we consult him tumuulizaje that is not hidden at least that is not hidden kuhusu hii dunia mapo ya hii dunia kesho at least that is not hidden hii haijafichwa is recorded here amenakiliwa hapa and we can consult him here sasa kumuuliza hapa what is going to happen to this earth to this world is that very clear yeah. when lini we can consult here tunaweza kumuuliza hapa katika maandiko and listen, listen to what i'm going to say and once you consult here baada ya kumuuliza hapo katika maandiko you will change utabadilisha your, your plan about how you live in this world utabadilisha mpango wako kuhusu unavyoishi katika ulimwengu huu when you consult where ukiuliza hapo because Amen. here i will tell you sababu hapa patakwambia kesho things will change mambo yatabadilika Tomorrow kesho there will be no this town. Hakutakuwa na hii town. Tomorrow kesho there will be no this house. Hakutakuwa na haya manyumba. Tomorrow kesho there will be no car. Hakutakuwa na magari. This one hii, if you want to this. Kiuliza hili. And this is right. Na hii iko sawa. Na iko sawa. Ni sahihi. Amen. Amen. That be the case. Hii ikiwa hivyo you, your pattern will change. Mpango wako utabadilika. Because this is right. Kwa kuwa he is ni sahihi. This is God's explanation. This is God's plan about this act. Ni ni mpango wa Mungu. Kuhusu dunia hii, this is what he says. Hivi ndio amesema kuhusu dunia hii. See? And that's why the believer. Ndio maana muaminio by consulting God. Kumuuliza Mungu and God tells us about tomorrow na Mungu anatuambia kuhusu kesho and how things will be na vile mambo yatakavyokuwa and that we shall not see this or that na kwamba hatutakuwa na hii au ile about tomorrow kuhusu kesho and what tomorrow will be na vile kesho itakavyokuwa and those who will be there tomorrow watakaokuwa kesho then the believer basi muaminio is more concerned ah, anashughulika sana not what he is today si kila alicho leo but what he is tomorrow kila atakachokuwa kesho amen and tomorrow is not hidden from us na kesho ijaficha kutoka kwetu i will say that I, tomorrow is not hidden from us from us kesho ijaficha kutoka kwetu see now sasa the future of this town maisha kesho ya ya town hii is not hidden from us haijafichwa kutoka kwetu the one we consult says yule tunayemuuliza anatuambia there will be no nakuru hakutakuwa na nakuru there will be no nairobi hakutakuwa na nairobi there will be no new york hakutakuwa na new york there will be no planes hakutakuwa na there will be no cars hakutakuwa na magari there will be no sinners hakutakuwa na wenye dhambi amen see No when he says there will be no sin as when i consult him i say amen alikimuliza akisema hakutakuwa na wenye dhambi nikimuuliza na anambia tomorrow there will be no sin as i say amen sema amina who will be there my children amen god god make me then your child amen that is 100% the truth ni nasikia mia kweli when daniel consulted the 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 scriptures wakati daniel aliuliza daniel alipochunguza kutoka kwa maandiko maandiko all the scriptures told him kila maandiko lichomwambia happen that year ilifanyika mwaka huo and it happened exactly what god foretold 70 years before na ilifanyika vile mungu alivyokuwa amepanga miaka 70 before ilio pita he is the best to consult amen bora kuuliza mungu ndiye bora zaidi ku kuuliza is the best ndio bora zaidi kuuliza when i ask him nikimuuliza he tells me don't worry anaenda sijali this town isn't going to be there tomorrow town hii itakuwa hapo kesho don't you worry sijali there is not going to be dar es salaam tomorrow don't you worry sijali and i say amen anasema amen it's not going to be haitakuwepo then because he says sing that sing all these things shall be consumed kwa kusema ukiona mambo haya yote yatakuwa kwamba mambo haya yote yatayaishwa 
what manner of men ought we to be in all manner of holy living katika kila hali ya maisha yetu ya katika hali ya utaua Seeing all these things shall be dissolved. Listen, if you have the revelation of that, don't you can you see you are going to you are going to to replan? Kama una ufunua mambo hayo, unaona unaona utapagua mipango. Because the one who has said it, the one who you have consulted, and you have consulted where he recorded it, cannot make a what? It shall be exactly as it's written. Oh, that's exactly. He's the best one to consult. We shall, we shall be consulting him. Amen. 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 Consult him. Consult him. Lord. Bwana. See. I want this and that. Nataka hili na vile. But I will be that. Lakini mapenzi yako ifanyike. Lord. Bwana. What would thou have me to do? Ungependa nifanye nini? See. See. Let us understand that. Tuelewe hivyo. See, tomorrow is not going to be as per what we would call the develop development plan. Kesha itakuwa kama vile tulivyosema a plan mpango ile inchi ime imepanga it shall be what God has planned. Itakuwa kama vile Mungu alivyopanga. Amen. I hope that is clear. Tumaini hilo. And if your life is in his pattern, see in his pattern, remember that ought to make you fear and trap, tremble. Because you don't know. You see, Lord, am I one of your children? I pray that you may confirm it to me. How do you, does he confirm? By giving you supernatural power. That should be of great priority to you. You want to do. You want to? To know. Look, you know, you see. Religious people say, well, there is nobody knows. See. God is the one who will judge. What is that in the scripture? The scripture says, Now are we the children of God. Now, 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 now. now. You must be born again. Not then. See what I do. Now. Now. I want to know now. When he believed, he was sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. All right? Now. Oh, that's exactly. I want to know about my future. Is that very clear? And you can know. He can make you know. That, that's what at least that one thing that God that that one prayer that is that God has to answer. Hiyo ni moja hiyo ni maombi moja ambayo lazima Mungu ajibu. Lazima Mungu afanye nini? Ajibu. To know your future. Kujua maisha yako ya baadaye. Where you will be? Mahali tutakapokuwa. Okay, there will be no this other way it is. Hakutakuwa na dunia vile ili. It shall be changed. But there will be children in the kingdom of God here. If you be one of them, at least God has a way of making you know in advance. At least Mungu anajia kufanya ujua kwamba utaishi hapa ba baadaye. God has a way. Mungu akona njia. Amen. God has an assurance. Mungu akona hakikisho. He has got something to give you. Akona kitu cha kukupea. And give you early. Early assurance. Amen. 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 You see? Mm. That is exactly. See? Mm. Anyhow, now mm. Sasa, he is the best to consult. Mm. Clear? Mm. He's the best to consult. Mm. Clear? Mm. He's the best to consult. Mm. See? Um. 
Let me tell you. Wacha nikwambie. Those children the way they have behaved in this world. Jinsi wamejibeba katika ulimwengu huu. Vile wameika wameishi katika ulimwengu huu. Those who have the revelation have lived in confidence. Wameishi katika ujasiri. They have left the, they they have testified shuhuda, that they are pilgrims and sojourners. Because they are sure that this civilization must end. Maendeleo haya na maisha haya lazima iishe. See, and that's why the Holy Spirit calls it. Sentence Eden. Eden ya ibilisi. Sentence Eden. And God has to set his kingdom here. Na Mungu lazima aweke ufalme wake hapa. See, when we consult him, kimuuliza, we can see clearly. Unaweza kuona vizuri. He said he will set his kingdom here. Alisema ataweka ufalme wake hapa. Au atasimamisha hapa. And he has said. Na amesema that kwamba sinners wenye dhambi of every kind wa kila aina shall not be in that kingdom hawatakuwa katika ufalme huo see that's exactly hivyo ndivyo people say don't judge watu wasema usihukumu see see don't judge usihukumu He that believe is not is already condemned. Yule ambaye yule asiamini tayari amehukumiwa. May God help us. Let's stand and pray. He is the best to console. Yeye ndio bora wa kuuliza. What he says? Kila anachosema niamina. Say now. Unasema sasa. Are you listen? If we if, if we are going to see another generation. Kama tutaona kizazi kingine. Say that again brother Waidaka. Kama tutaona kizazi kingine. We can consult him. Tuta, tunaweza tukamuuliza, tunaweza kumuuliza. When we consult him, kimuuliza, he says this. Anasema hivi. The generation. A, a, kile kile kizazi that sees the fig tree israel kinachoona mtu atakachoona uh, atakachoona mtini israel israel see bad back to a nation hai ikirudi kwa uh, kwa taifa kwa kwa taifa that generation shall not cease akizazi akizazi hicho hakitapita till all these things be hadi mambo haya yote yatimie see That, that's what he says. Even if when he consult him, he says this is the last generation. Anasema hiki ndicho kizazi cha mwisho. Listen, when he consult him, he says anasema this is the last generation. Hiki ndicho kizazi cha mwisho. This is it. Ni hiki. This is the end. Huu ndio mwisho. No history is going to be written about this message. Hakuna hakuna history itakayoandikwa kuhusu ujumbe huu. Ujumbe huu. This message will not have a history. Hii ujumbe huu utakuwa na historia. This is the end message. Huu ndio ujumbe wa mwisho. No history about it. Hakuna historia kuju yake. Another history about this message it means there will be another message. Eh, ku, ku, this one will be now history. Yeah, in... Kama kutaidikwa historia ya ujumbe huu when that history is being written mm. you cannot write a history of something that is in existence. Uweze andika historia kile kilichoko. Uweze kuandika historia kitu ambacho ki, kiko. You write about its history about that thing as far as this message is not going to pass. This message is going to come up with a bride. The last bride. This is the message that is this is the bride that is going to call all the sleeping ones. This is the end. No history will be written about this one. This this message will not there will be no history saying during the time of the message the seventh angel wakati wa kizazi cha mjumba wa saba who will be the messenger then? Naye atakuwa mjumba wakati huo. Obi ohi bi the eighth or twelfth atakuwa nane ama 12 when you are writing about the history Una, of the seven unapoandika historia wa saba see 
I hope brethren you understand. That is my consultation. Uh, he do See, I have consulted him. That's what he tells me. And what he tells me, it is the correct version. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. I surrender. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. All to be my blessed Savior. I Our Heavenly Father, Lord, I'm praying for these people. Amen. Dear Lord, that they may ponder over those words. Amen. All things shall be Amen. according to what is written. Amen. And I pray for each one of these people Amen. that, Lord, you may help them yes. think deep Amen. about those words. Amen. Amen. Daniel had no confidence in any other source of information. Yes. His information that was reliable to him, Amen. his information Amen. that was dependable to him, Amen. was what was recorded. Amen. He hung on it yes. because that's exactly what was going to happen. Amen. It is said there would be pre the 70th year. Amen. And he was expecting nothing but freedom. Amen. Glorious Master. Yes, Lord. You said, Lord, this is the last message. Amen. And the Holy Spirit says today that this message ushers the millennium. Amen. To those, Lord, who know you. Yes. To those who know, scriptures don't lie. Yes, Lord. To those who know, the Holy Spirit is true. Amen. The Spirit of truth. Amen. Lord, yes. we are waiting for nothing else Amen. but the coming of the great millennium. Amen. We are waiting for nothing else. Amen. Of a consultation. Yes. In the scriptures. Amen. What is written? Amen. Heavenly Father. He promised to send a last messenger. Yes, man. And to us, this is the last messenger. Amen. Amen. To us, there is no other age. Amen. I pray, Lord, for these people Amen. that they may be watchful Amen. and study Amen. modern events Amen. as they unfold. Yes. Because they are in lies what the Holy Spirit said mm -hmm. that modern events Amen. are made clear mm -hmm. are understood better Amen. by by looking or searching the prophecy Amen. Amen. glorious master yes, Lord. Lord we hang on what you have said Amen. Amen. we hang on your word Amen. Amen. we know nothing but what God has Amen. said Amen. we believe nothing but what God you have said Amen. Amen. Glorious Master, that's why we cannot listen to any preacher. Amen. We cannot listen to any human. Amen. But we are listening to what the Spirit has said. Amen. And he cannot say anything yes. but what he recorded. Amen. That's why you told us that whatever we hear, we check with the word. Amen. Grant these things is our prayer. Amen. Our prayer, Lord, also is that you prepare us then yes. for the second coming of the Lord. Amen. Because this message brings in the second coming of the Lord. Amen. Because Heavenly Father, after the opening of those seals, Amen. according to the scriptures, Amen. the next thing that followed Amen. is the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And you said, I send you Elijah the prophet Amen. just before that second coming. Amen. You also told him down at the river mm -hmm. that as John the Baptist was sent for around my first coming, Amen. you are sent with a message yes. after which 
people must expect in my second coming. Amen. We are waiting for the second coming of the Lord. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we pray that you may reveal to us, Lord. Amen. Oh God. Amen. The kind of the kind of ones Amen. he's coming for. Amen. So that Lord we may cry to thee Amen. to make us that kind. Amen. Oh God help us. Amen. We commit all things to thee Amen. this evening. Yes. We pray Father for your protection Amen. as we go out of this place. Amen. I pray that you send everyone here Amen. in peace Lord to their dwelling place. Amen. Oh God protect them from the evil. Yes, protect Lord. them Father from all the devices of Satan. Amen. Need there be another day Father. Amen. Gather us again around your table. Amen. And continue to feed us yes. with the bread of life. Amen. Grant these things Lord is our prayer. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 The Lord bless you very much.